Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to talk about what happens if a guardian dies or becomes disabled in Illinois. The process for replacing a guardian who is no longer able to fulfill his or her duties due to death or disability depends on whether the guardianship is a guardianship of the person or guardianship of the estate or both. Uh, a guardianship of the estate is when the guardian is responsible for the financial affairs of a disabled adult. A guardianship of the person is when a guardian is appointed to make non-financial decisions like health care decisions uh, or decisions about where someone will live and day-to-day -day care of a disabled adult. The same guardian can serve as both guardian of the person and guardian of the estate. So for a guardianship of the person, uh, if a guardian of the person becomes uh, disabled or passes away, a potential successor guardian, uh, a person who can step into that guardian's shoes and serve as guardian in the original guardian's place, should file a petition to appoint a successor guardian with the guardianship court that has jurisdiction over the case. Ultimately, a hearing will be held at which the potential successor is required to show that the original guardian is unable to fulfill his or her duties due to death or disability and that the potential successor would be appropriate uh, to serve as a successor guardian to the original guardian and that the potential successor serving in that role would be in the best interests of the disabled adult. If the guardianship is a guardianship of the estate, uh, you still have to go through that same process of the potential successor uh, showing that the original guardian of the estate is disabled or deceased uh, and that the successor guardian is the appropriate person to serve as successor guardian of the estate. In addition to that, representatives of the original guardian have to file a final account with the guardianship court. A final account is basically uh, a document that shows all of the assets and liabilities of the estate at the termination of the original guardian's guardianship. Um, and it will also show all of the income and disbursements uh, that have happened during the guardianship uh, of the original guardian. So uh, basically all of the financial transactions that have occurred uh, will be included in this final account. Now, the reason that the successor guardian is coming into play and the original guardian is no longer able to serve as guardians because the original guardian is disabled and unable to fill that role or has passed away. So the original guardian is obviously not going to be able to prepare this report. So that's why I said representatives of the or original guardian. So if the original guardian is disabled, then the original guardian's guardian who will be appointed to make decisions on the original guardian's behalf for them personally can prepare this final account. If the original guardian is uh, deceased, then the executor or beneficiaries under the will of the original guardian or the heirs of the original guardian's estate can prepare the final account. So when it's, an, it's a guardianship of the estate, you have a two-step process. First, appointing a successor guardian, and that's the same for guardianship of a person or guardianship of an estate, and then the original guardian's representative final, filing this final account with the court to make the transition from the original guardian to the successor guardian. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below this post at learn-about-law.com or below the video on our YouTube station. If you need some help, please give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We have offices in many geographical locations for your convenience, and we offer free consultations in several areas of law. Uh, if you found this helpful, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to us on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you watch your podcasts, or I'm sorry, listen to your podcasts or watch your videos. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.